when the people thought about the martyrdom and the courage of St. George, and recognizing that it was shortly thereafter that the Roman Empire was basically fully converted with the conversion of the Emperor Constantine and the Edict of Milan. St. George became a symbol of the triumph of good over evil, a triumph of perseverance in the face of intimidation and persecution. And many would credit his suffering as one of the last nails on the coffin of the forces preventing the coming of the church and God's kingdom throughout the world. Shortly after the Edict of Milan, there was a number of conversions throughout the entire Roman Empire, throughout the world. And so St. George is still a good model and symbol and an intercessor for us. And Christians have seen him as an intercessor throughout the ages, particularly in days of persecution and days of the Crusades and lots of different dire circumstances. People call upon the intercession of St. George as a soldier for God, that he might inspire us to fight for the good as well 